New Orleans police are investigating two separate shootings on I-610. Yeah, they happened late last night on the same stretch of highway. All of this within hours of each other. Paul Murphy is following that story. Gunfire on Interstate 610 in New Orleans sent two drivers to the hospital. They were injured in two separate shootings Thursday night. The NOPD says a man was shot in the westbound lanes at Paris Avenue around 745 and another was hit around 1130 in the eastbound lanes at the St. Bernard Avenue exit. Police say in both cases, someone in an unknown vehicle started shooting at the men. The NOPD does not believe the shootings are related. Police said in a statement, the NOPD investigates incidents such as these on their respective circumstances. Investigators are currently of the belief that these are isolated incidents and in many cases, crimes of opportunity regarding individuals known to each other. The NOPD has investigated 14 shootings on I-10 and I-610 so far this year. In April, Superintendent Sean Ferguson told WWL-TV there does not appear to be a pattern to the shootings. We cannot necessarily identify any specific motives, but we know for sure a few of them have uh, involved road rage. So we're looking into other uh, possible motives. Louisiana State Police, which helped patrol the interstates, did not want to comment on the New Orleans shootings, but Trooper Kate Stiegel is urging drivers to be patient and aware behind the wheel at all times. Be calm with other motorists. Uh, we don't know why some motorists make evasive actions. We want to avoid road rage incidents, and it's important to stay calm. This July 4th weekend, state police in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama will be out in force on I-10 in a concentrated effort called 10-8 on 10, one road, one mission. They are looking for impaired and aggressive drivers, speeders, and people not wearing seat belts. It's our goal to make sure that everyone travels safe. We don't know the current conditions of the drivers shot on 610. One of them was critical when he arrived at the hospital. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. The NSA troopers are back in New Orleans as part of Operation Golden Eagle. Troopers are working with the NOPD to crack down on summer violence.